So a lot of you guys have recently asked me how to best customize your Android phone. Whilst I'm hardly a professor on the subject, I've got some wallpapers, icon packs, launches, and other bits and bobs that I think you're going to absolutely love. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So in this video we're doing something just a little bit different. Instead of showing you each thing individually, I decided to bundle them into different setups, which kind of shows you the different widgets and icon packs actually in action, so I thought that would be more useful for you. There are six setups on the video, so after you've watched it, be sure to comment down below which one's your favourite. That'll be interesting to see, I'll run a bit of a poll. So number one is based off Nova Launcher. We've got the Zupa widget, the Google search bar, the ALOS icon pack, and this wallpaper is actually from the Glim Light theme pack. So the calendar I've got over here is just named month, which is a little bit weird, but it fits really nicely with the theme I'm using and is probably the best looking calendar widget I've ever seen on Android. So the main reason I keep using Nova Launcher for most of my setups is just that it's compatible with everything and you can tweak the finest settings. So after applying ALOS icon pack, what I did is I went to the folder section and changed it to display icons in a grid instead of just a stack. So coming back to the Zupa widget I was showing you earlier in the setup, this thing is amazing for customization. It essentially allows you to build your own widgets, which sounds like a terrible idea to start with, but it's made it quite simple. And there's also theme packs you can download, as well as tons of presets, which just makes things really easy. It takes just two clicks to install any widget. It's all adjustable in the app, so you can fit things to your exact preference, and it's basically all free. Now I think the month calendar I'm using fits perfectly with the setup. It's got a clean look but it's still playful at the same time and it syncs everything with my Google Calendar and updates automatically. So my second setup is based off Nano Launcher. It's a little bit less customizable than Nova but it specializes in being lightweight. The app is very small and it barely uses any memory running in the background. Now something I wanted to demonstrate here is the power of sorting icons by color. It seems like a bit of a trivial thing, even a bit of a stupid thing to do, but the brain actually responds better to images than it does to text. So if you sort by colour, you'll not only be able to navigate faster, but your phone setup will look much cooler. At the default settings, Nano Launch automatically removes the text on your icons on the home screen, and all customization is done through a really structured approach, so it's super easy to get a clean look here. So in this particular setup, I'm actually using stock icons, but if you wanted a more consistent look, then for Nano Launcher, I recommend Sunshine. And the wallpaper is straight from the launcher's own library, but I actually reduced the contrast a little bit just to take the edge off the image, make it more pleasant to view, and that's something else which I recommend you might want to do. Setup number three goes for a bit of a sharper, more vibrant look. It's based off Nova Launcher, and the darker background helps to make the foreground stand out more. It's perhaps not as minimalist as the Nano Launcher setup we made earlier, but it's very practical. So this funky clock you see at the top here is from KWGT, another similar to Zupa custom widgets app. The wallpaper is from Wallrox, and the icon pack I'm using here is Polycon. To make things a little more interesting, to sort of add a bit of three dimension into it, you can see that on the folders I've actually changed it so it displays icons on a platform, as opposed to a flat grid. So taking a closer look at KWGT, it's very similar to Zupa. There's pre-built widgets as well as ones you can make on your own, and it's all really simple to operate. The only thing is, is the themes don't exactly overlap, so some widgets will be made for KWGT and others will be made for Zupa, so you might as well get both. Number four is made using Buzz Launcher. Now, if you've seen my earlier video on my best Android launches, I did feature it there, and Buzz Launcher is a totally different launcher to all the others, in that the customization is pretty much done automatically. So Buzz Launcher has a store. Well, I say store, it's basically all free, where you browse through a set of themes, and if you find one you like, you click on it. You can then see a preview of what it might look like on your phone, and if you go ahead, you click download, it all applies it for you. So that includes installing the widgets for you, adjusting your icons, and it works 100% of the time. So it's a little bit different to doing things on your own, because instead of just changing sort of the way your icons look, it'll change their position, it'll change which icons are showing, it'll change the widgets, the way the icons are organized, as well as the icon pack, all automatically. So it's a good way to basically steal someone's work. You can make it look like you've spent hours customizing your phone, when actually you've spent about two minutes. Under the hood, it also has most of the settings for finer tuning that you might find on Nova Launch, for example. But the only thing which is not great about Buzz Launcher is it doesn't tend to support the traditional third-party themes and icon packs, which of course some great developers spend a lot of time working on. So the last setup on the list is based off Solo Launcher, and instead of going for a flat look, I've gone for a slightly more industrial design. So in the middle here we've got the minimal clock widget, and the wallpaper and icons you see are built into Solo Launcher. 
So if you wanted to create a more rustic, industrial kind of look for your phone, then I recommend you choose a black and white picture, or one with not too much saturation. If you can, also lower the contrast, that does help a bit. So I'm not really expecting anyone to vote for this setup, because I'm using it as a bit of an example of where people tend to go wrong. As you can see, I've got a really nice clean background, which is really low in saturation, and I've ended up contrasting that with an icon pack that is right in your face. It's saturated, jumpy, and cheerful, and the contrast just doesn't quite work. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. I've tried to add as many of the links as I could for all the bits and bobs shown in this video in the description, and don't forget to let me know down below which one is your favourite, it'd be fun to have a little discussion about it. With that being said, I will see you guys next time.